Uh, Fanula, initial thoughts on that? Um, uh, disappointed, I suppose, really. Like, I, I started off with intent and then I struggled a bit and I kind of got back into it. And just as I was like, OK, I can come through here, I lost my spike. So the last lap was just a case of just get around it and standing up, right? Like, cause it's, it is very mucky out there and everything's on the camber. So when you don't have that grip, it's just, it's tough. Like, and even at the end there, I was like trying to sprint as hard as I could, but I just couldn't go anywhere. Like, with one leg really felt like. Let's put this out of your mind then. Let's look ahead to what you're doing this year. Uh, <laughs> I have to sit down and plan it now like my my plan was to finish cross country now and then probably go to the roads for a little bit and then decide between aiming for the 10 or the marathon for London for, because like I have the marathon time from the Olympics but I still have to get a qualifying time for the 10 and then I suppose it depends what everyone else does and how they pick the team and stuff so, so does that mean heading to London for the marathon then um for the London marathon or the no for the London marathon no I definitely like I at the moment I wouldn't I don't plan to do another marathon before the world anyway so and because I have a qualifying time and if anything I'd probably go for the 10k time instead. So. You seem a little bit happier than you were when you spoke to Will Downey after the European Championships in the cross country though. Yeah like I suppose even since then I've had up and ups and downs and I've run a few cross country races to get out of my system and yeah like last week in Edinburgh I was happy with that so it was nice to start the year strong so.